Hey, you're here today with Andra Carmina, aka Andy Valkyrie Divine. And today I was talking to one of my former clients. We did sort of like a little catch up and um, we ended up getting into some really in depth topics. Um, and I really just wanted to touch on them because they're so important for the kind of portal that we're navigating right now. Uh, what do I mean by that? So just this auspicious time tomorrow we have the great conjunction which is the um, auspicious meeting of Jupiter and Saturn at zero degrees Aquarius and um, it's just like a huge sort of um, ground zero moment and all the way up until this point we've been um, you know, through a, a lot of ordeals and a lot of struggle and a lot of um, different experiences. I feel like we've been asked to release trauma and to end karmic cycles, um, you know, let go of past life stuff, ancestral things, um, basically anything that hasn't been serving us, old identities, old ways of being, um, you know, old belief systems that are just not in alignment with where we're headed all of these things have been asked of us to be released to be um dissolved i really like that word dissolved and so uh when i was talking to um my client he was saying how you know there was this moment of um complete surrender and you know, going through painful experience and just not resisting the pain, right? And, you know, I mean, I see this all the time with my clients. I also obviously, you know, in myself, um, I reflect a lot on what I'm going through and what's happening. And there's this piece about sort of like when life brings you down to your knees and you're kind of just there and it's like your heart is just completely open and you know a lot of the times I feel that like we're so used to running away from the pain right uh, we're taught that we have to work we have to do things you know we get caught up in like the drama of everyday life we uh, numb ourselves we're you know like we have addictions all, all types of things like drugs alcohol sex porn like whatever you name it right um, we don't know how to sit with our pain it's a practice that is incredibly difficult because you have to face your own shadows and that's what shadow work is all about and that's what we were talking about is like how do you um, how do you take yourself to that place right uh, like how what does it take for you to really dive into the depths of you the parts of you that you've disowned that you feel shame around that you feel guilt around that you cannot face because you feel bad about um you know fragmented parts of yourselves trauma that has happened to you that has made you like disassociate or um you know sort of disconnect yourself from parts of yourself so all of these things were things that we were addressing today and you know the shadow work is really that you know people ask me a lot of time what the, what the hell is shadow work you know uh <laughs> and i mean at the very core of it it's the foundation i think the foundation of you know I don't even want to say, like the foundation of being yourself because until you feel that pain, the pain drives you, okay? So um, I, I see this so much and I know people, people that are dear and close to me um, that like for the longest time I would try to save, I would try to rescue, I would try to understand, I would try to like relieve them of their pain because it's so incredibly difficult to watch them run away from this pain instead of just facing it, right? Um, and I know it sounds easy, like just face it, right? But it's like who wants to willingly put themselves through like breakdowns and like crying fits and like truly, truly like 
like looking your pain in the eye right and being like you don't own me anymore right i got this i'm gonna feel this right and so what happens is most people are not willing to go there okay and i really do think that this is like the the foundation like the thing that would bring you everything you want whether it's like in relationship whether it's in business whether it's clients whether it's success whether it's quantum leaps in terms of income like if you can get in there and have a face to face with your shadow like miracles happen because that's where your power is right when you own that like nothing else can own you nothing right you become invincible and i was talking about this too i, I, I did a post on instagram and i was talking about how my ability to heal myself by feeling the pain and owning it and acknowledging it and doing the inner work okay has made me feel like i'm absolutely invincible towards anything and anyone that might try to break me down okay and i'm not saying that people do that consciously most most of the times they don't um but just any circumstance any situation any trigger anything that shows up it's like i got this I'm not running away, yeah? Um, there's no avoidance, there's no hiding, there's no playing small, there's no um, defensiveness, there's no, like, none of these, like, ego trips that we're used to, you know, um, work anymore because you know better, right? Um, so, in this sacred space of complete surrender okay like I'm, I'm going back to the last episode of this that i had back in september where it was like three grueling days of me being triggered and then dealing with like my abandonment wound and not being chosen and feeling rejection and like all of these things and i was literally like on the floor bawling my eyes out um, you know, and there's a, there's a, there's a place and space for purifying yourself of this because as you go through the pain, it purifies you. Okay. You release things. And that's what my client was saying. He was like, you know, it's one of these things where like, I, I felt so much lighter, like, even though it felt like shit, it felt good, <laughs> you know? And it's true because as you work through the pain, as you release that from your cells, from your body, your body automatically feels lighter. It automatically feels um, like the pain that it's been carrying for so long is dissolving, is releasing, is being removed, right? The energy flows. That's what emotion is, energy in motion. As you feel it, you are moving it through you. You are moving it out of you. And so your body then just feels lighter. It feels like, oh, like, what is this? You know, I've never, I haven't felt this light before, <laughs> right? Um, and like the process itself is, is, is not fun. It's not pleasant, right? And that's why we avoid it and we run from it like the plague. But in that meeting of your shadow, in that moment um, or moments, you know, because sometimes an episode like this can last for days, you really, it's like you, you know, all of the things that you couldn't have before, like, um, you know, most of the times the pain that we have is wounding from our childhood it's wounding from you know what we wanted from our, our parents our caretakers you know the people that we thought they're supposed to love us the most and maybe they just couldn't give us that love you know they couldn't validate us they couldn't appreciate us they couldn't be there for us they couldn't understand us they couldn't um love us in the way that we wanted to or maybe they just couldn't meet our needs uh meet our needs um, maybe they were emotionally unavailable, they just didn't have the space, and so there's this like abandonment, neglect, you know, like, and so a lot of the times we tend to seek that out, like on the outside, you know, like maybe if I achieve, you know, whatever, maybe if I make a bunch of money, maybe if I, you know, look this way, or like, you know, be skinny, or have the boobs, or, you know, whatever, like depending on, you know, what the standard standards are, 
um, then I'll get the love, then I'll get the, um, uh, you know, appreciation, then I'll get the whatever. And it's not really like that. It never actually fulfills you. Anything that you go to seek on the outside doesn't work. And it doesn't work because there's this residual pain on the inside that until you really come face to face with it and feel it and work through it, it's always going to run you. So even if you chase out there, even if you get whatever, even if you make some money, even if whatever, at some point or other you will sabotage it because this pain is going to come back up to take it all away. Okay? And so a lot of this... I feel like we've been kind of like put through the ringer because a lot of us are being asked right now, like collectively speaking, we're asked to feel our pain, to move through our pain, to release, you know, karma and old things and things from the past experiences, like all that negative shit that we hold on to. It's like we can't take that with us going forward. Like there's no space for that. Like in the world of creation, which by the way that's exactly where we're headed right like aquarius is the innovator aquarius is the like rebel the one that like pulls ideas out of thin air okay creates like it's it's an inventor okay literally and that's the energy that we're going to be working with a lot in the next little while with jupiter being in there saturn being in there um you know i have a bajillion planets in aquarius so i'm getting hit like next year like <laughs> Um, but I'm excited for it because there's so much potential to take your vision and ground it with Saturn, yeah, and expand it with Jupiter and actually make something of yourself, um, you know, and, and I'm saying, you know, personally, but um, collectively we're going through the same thing. We literally have to reinvent the fucking world, okay? That's like that's the challenge in front of us okay we cannot reinvent ourselves or the world for that matter if we're dragging all the shit from like way back when with us we cannot take that pain with us we cannot um we're asked to surrender all that okay we're asked to let that go in the name of creation Okay, we have to go through the destruction, the dissolution of this pain, okay, and allow it to move through you. And so I really identified with what my, my previous client was saying because, you know, I have been going through it, he has been going through it, a bunch of people that I've been talking to have been going through it. Like, we're all collectively, to the extent that we are conscious and aware, going through this, right? So... I think one of the most painful things that I get to witness um, is when people waste their whole life running, okay, uh, from this pain that I'm referring to. And they're not conscious of it, like it's not something that happens consciously, right? But when you are a workaholic, when you're like, you know, doing things whatever like if you're addicted to stuff if you're addicted to work if you're addicted to sex if you're addicted to drugs if you're addicted to busyness if you're addicted to food if you're addicted to whatever like those have been our coping mechanisms right like that's that's what we've been uh that has been the best that we could do okay and at this point in time, we're being asked to do more than that, okay? We have to become more than that. We have to become more than our past selves and our past coping mechanisms, okay? That have kept us in survival, all right? And so, back to my point about wasting your life running. Um... I really do think that generational patterns tend to repeat themselves and they get passed down to the next generation until someone in that family tree is ready to break it, okay? And I believe there's many of us right now that are reaching that point where we're being asked to break the cycle. We're being asked to stop the generational trauma from being passed forward, okay? And so we do that by feeling the pain, our pain and 
you know, all the pain that has been passed down to us. Like abuse doesn't happen, like even just neglect. I'm not like at the extreme side of things, we're talking about abuse, okay? Um, but it's a spectrum, right? Even just like neglect, um, not really being there, being absent, whatever, like they all leave an imprint on us, okay? And we learn to believe that we're not good enough or there's something wrong with us or we did something, like it must be our fault. Right? And so we're always going back to that piece about finding our self-worth and finding our value and the love and appreciation and validation from outside sources. Okay, Again, we're being asked to do better and to find it within us because it's never out there. It's always within. Okay, So to me, it's like opening, opening doors. Okay, um, It's like the shadow side. Is like this room with all these doors and you have no idea what's behind the doors okay um, and I think the scariest thing about it is that we're terrified of seeing what's behind those doors okay and it's like you just it's like you keep everything shut right like someone who is not aware someone who hasn't done their inner work is fully armored okay there's door upon door upon door upon door of shadow that is blocking their light from shining through, okay? To me, shadow work is literally bringing to light the shadow, okay? You're removing, you're opening the door so that the light can shine forward, okay? But you cannot do that until you feel the pain, until you release the pain, it's almost like a this exchange, right? Like pain out, love in, you know, darkness out, light in. Okay, that's that's the flow. That's what we're working with. Um, and so to me, it's kind of like the people that are like that have spent their entire lives running. It feels like they're just armored from head to toe. Imagine how heavy that feels in the body, right? To to energetically be shut to have door after door after door after door or you know wall 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 like you can see that when people are trying to protect themselves because there's so much pain in there they don't like there's shame there's guilt they don't want other people to know they're super insecure they're jealous they're angry there's all these feelings coming through right and the best that they can do is try to keep people away so that people don't see what's going on on the inside, right? Because they can't even see what's going on on the inside. It's too terrifying to face that. So the best they can do is hide it, right? Um, and it's like, how long do you want to live like that, right? Like, we're presented with a choice. I mean, we're presented with it every day. But I think just like the the momentum and the, the portal that I was talking about, like the energetic portal and the work that we've been doing is like it has the propensity to take us to the next level in this work. And like we don't have to carry this armor anymore. It's heavy and it's dragging us down. You know, it's like try to how can you even create in armor? You cannot. You're just trying to protect yourself. There's nothing that you can create. It's like, imagine having like metal fingers and you're trying to paint. Like, it doesn't fucking work, right? It doesn't. And so, like a lot of people are like, why isn't my life looking the way I want it to look? Like, why am I never able to manifest this? Why can I not create X, Y, Z? Like, why can I not have you know, a good partner? Why can I not make money? Why, like, am I not seeing clients in my business? You know, why are all these things happening to me, right? And it's like, again, there's so much protection and there's so much fear and there's so much um, energy being spent just trying to keep that armor on, okay? And not feel the pain that there is no energy left to create. How can you, right? And so we're being asked to like empty our vessel, okay? The vessel is the body, right? Energetically, physically, we're being asked to dissolve these things, to let them go, okay? And 
as we do so, again, we open the doors, okay? And yes, it might be traumatizing. Yes, it might be extremely scary, extremely uncomfortable. Like, there's there's no way to describe, like, you know, I'm going back and I'm trying, like, the rawness, okay? It's just like, it's like you're exposed. It's like you don't even have skin, okay? That's what it feels like when you go there, okay? And so... Yes, it's terrifying, but what's the alternative? Like we live our lives in pain for the rest of our lives because we're too scared and we're just running away. Um, I mean, yeah, like we have free will. We can absolutely do that. And that's why I said to me, the most painful thing is to watch people do that, to watch people settle and not do the inner work and not go there, not open the door, not own the shadow and be like, what is in there? Like, what is so scary? What is so shameful? What am I so fucking afraid of? That I'm willing to live a painful life for because I'm too scared to look at what's behind that door, right? So I see people get to their 60s, 70s, and they've never once opened a door. There's a hundred doors in front of their heart. Yeah? They're armored in the toughest armor possible. And they're in so much pain. And they're so miserable. And you know what? It's, it's their right. Because we have free will. We can choose. We can choose to be as miserable as we want. And it's painful, right? Or we can choose to heal. But if we want to heal, we have to look at what's behind the doors, right? What's our shadow trying to tell us? And the shadow is not there to be like banned or to be destroyed. Or, you know, sometimes people talk about like, well, you have to kill the ego or you have to, you know, whatever. Like, no, actually, it doesn't work like that. Like, the shadow just wants the same thing you want. It wants to be acknowledged. It wants to be loved. It wants to be paid attention to. It's like an inner child screaming for attention. Because it doesn't get what it wants. Right? Like, we don't want pain. But if we're not willing to feel it, because we're so resistant against it, that's all we're creating. That's all we're bringing in. Right? So I feel like this is such a grand opportunity for so many karmic cycles, for so many things to um, unfold and to um, for us to break free, for us to like remove the chains that have been holding us back from the trauma, from the, um, you know, the, the, the pain, all the things that we're harboring inside. Um, you know, it's such a such an opportunity right now. And I think we're all being called to because we have to. Again, it's like there is no place for where we're going for that to come with us, right? And it's the most, like, brave work you can do. It's the most courageous thing that you could possibly embark on is your own healing journey, right? And I feel really blessed to have people like my clients, like my coach, right? Like I have a support circle for myself and also me in the capacity of the supporter, of the facilitator as a coach to help others see that, right? In themselves and in, in witnessing that, I get feedback too. And so it's beautiful to witness the unfolding, the blossoming, the radiance right the magnificence that like really shines when people give themselves a chance right like give yourself a fucking chance okay like what does it take how hard is it to feel your feelings how hard is it to just feel that pain and then just let it go right like um 
that's what it takes like really there's there's no shortcuts there's no running away there's no addictions like nothing will save you nothing will make it go away and i know it's tempting and i see it all the time in various different ways like i just i was talking to someone who's addicted to pornography right i see it like in other people where they're just addicted to work they're complete workaholics never once want to look inside never once want to do this work never once want to admit that like there's all this stuff going on inside and like sometimes they don't even know right like they're not even it's like they don't know that they don't know right like and that's like the most mind-blowing thing because it's like you're so ignorant and like you don't know that this stuff is going on inside and it's not your fault like it's not a judgment it's just it's pure ignorance right and then there's people who are aware and they're still not willing to change they're still not willing to do anything about it right and then there's the people that are really willing the people that are like i'm willing to do whatever it takes I'm willing to stop running away. I'm willing to, you know, maybe not swing the door open. Like I might still be hesitant. My hand might still be shaking as I'm approaching the door, but I'm willing to go there. And when I'm willing to go there, I surrender. And in that surrender, spirit can reach me. Okay, we're also being asked to connect to the divine. Where is this pain coming from? Separation from the divine, right? We are not, we have forgotten our connection to nature, to, you know, the globe, right? Planet Earth, the universe, the stars, the everything. We're all connected. And a lot of our pain, pretty much everything, that we're harboring inside comes from this place of like we just think we're human right like we forgot our divinity right when i first started my business the name of it was of divine essence and the name of it came from this that i you know my goal was always to remind people of their divine essence of the fact that we are always connected to divinity we cannot be separate from it but we can forget that right so it's about undoing these layers taking these layers off okay removing the armor allowing the light to shine because the light is our soul the light is our divinity and when we allow that to shine when we allow ourselves to really blossom and to really serve people our families, right? Our clients, the world, animals, whatever. Okay? Everyone benefits. And that's what Aquarius is about. Aquarius is the humanitarian. Aquarius is the altruistic soul. Aquarius is not us versus them. It's us and them. We're all together. We're all working as one, right? It's it's social change. It's the collective coming together so that we can all be better okay and that betterment comes from us doing the inner work comes from us doing the shadow work comes from us not denying parts of ourselves not running away from parts of ourselves not being oblivious to the fact that we have trauma and we have pain and we have felt disconnected and we have felt severed and we have forgotten where we come from and we have forgotten that we can co-create with the universe that we play a part and the universe plays a part okay and i'm talking about the universe fill in the blanks um i'm not religious or anything i am spiritual but you know god life source universe energy feel free to um fill in the blanks there okay um and so tapping into that like the more we remove the layers the more we stop feeling separate and isolated and removed from our divinity okay like when we're no longer trapped in our humanness even though it's a part of us, it's not the only part of us, 
okay? And it takes this kind of surrender and it takes this kind of feeling everything. Like allowing yourself to fall apart, allowing yourself to become completely undone so that it can all fall back and whatever's left is truly you. That's the purification process. That's the fire. That's the resurrection of the, you know, phoenix rising from the ashes. That's the indestructible you coming through. And that's the part of you that I'm speaking to right now. Because there is a part of you that is indestructible. There is a part of you that is stronger than everything you have gone through, no matter how painful. That part of you that's connected to divinity, there's nothing human that can alter it. Nothing. Because it's divine. And if you can embody that, okay? Because as we remove the armor, we are able to embody more light. Okay? We are able to embody more of ourselves. Our soul can actually shine through. Which means you are anchoring the divine connection here and now. And in doing so, you are connecting to your true essence. And from that place, everything is possible. Okay? And that's my message for you today. If you want help, if you are one of those people that <laughs> is willing to go there, is wanting to go there, even though they're terrified, uh, even I'm still terrified, and I've done this process like my coach calls it uh, a date with your dark side. <laughs> yeah, I've been on a few of those dates. Um, I'm not sure if I should say they're successful or not. Uh, <laughs> they're definitely unique. Uh, I have come to know a lot more of myself through the process, um, you know, and uh, I never, I don't know, I want to say I never come out alive because it really is a death, you know, and that's also what's terrifying of it. It's like, if I let this go, if I let this pain go, then what am I? Who am I? Right? It's like we've identified for so long with this pain inside of us. We don't even know who we are. That's what I mean by we forgot our divinity. We forgot our true essence. We forgot our knowing that we are all powerful. Okay? So it's time to begin to embody that. It's time to begin reconnecting with ourselves. Tuning back into ourselves. Giving ourselves everything that we've been looking for on the outside. Okay? The love, the validation, the appreciation, yeah, all of those things. Choosing yourself, being there for yourself, honoring yourself, respecting yourself, taking care of yourself, feeling yourself. It's all there for you, but you have to be willing to go there, okay? And if you want to go there, I'm here. This is my work. This is what I do. And I love doing this. I really feel like I've become sort of like a, I call it the priestess of Pluto. Uh, Pluto is the uh, lord of the underworld. And I feel like I'm his priestess or some shit. Like you know, going deep down into the darkness and coming back out the other side, right? Um, walking into the flames and coming out purified, right? Um, it's really like, even with my clients, it's the same thing, right? It's like they're going down this well of darkness, right? And my role is like, okay, let me go down deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper with you up until the point where you feel like maybe you can't take it anymore. And then when you reach that point, my hand is right there to bring you back up. Okay, so you don't drown in the darkness. Um, which is, which is, um, why we're so scared. 
<laughs> because we literally feel like we're drowning in that pain, okay? Um, and so it's always a good idea to have support, to have people to help you, to have um, the foundation necessary to do this kind of work. Um, it's not for the faint of heart and you know, even for myself, like I said, I've done it many times, even as the priestess of Pluto and all this, like I still have mentors, I still reach out to my coach and sometimes I'm like, you know, recording like voice notes to her and I'm literally like yelling because I'm so upset and I'm so angry. And you know, she'll get back to me and she'll hold me through the process and she'll tell me the next step and you know, I do it and then we keep moving, right? Like it's it's this organic process, you know? And the more you do it, the more resilient you become. And so it's almost like you, like anything else, you know, it's like you, you keep doing it and you get better at it and you become less afraid and you're willing to open more doors, you know? It's like you open one door and it's kind of like Pandora's box, like you don't know what's going to come out. But then, you know, whatever comes out, you deal with it and you face it and you own it and you integrate it and it becomes part of you. Okay, but not from the place of it owning you, but from the place of you integrating it. And then it's like, okay, well, I've done that and I didn't die. Or, you know, maybe I had an ego death, but like my soul is like fully alive and, you know, vibing. So maybe I can do another one. Right? So it's kind of like that. Uh, it's like every time you go down deep into the well of darkness <laughs> or every time you want to like open an another door and you're scared of like what's behind there, right? You're kind of like... You know what? I've done that before. It was rough. It was hard. It was painful. It was whatever. But the release that I got and like the like how much lighter I felt after and how much more vibrant I felt after like it's happened to me before where like I've gone through this process and I've lost like five pounds just because like it was all stored in my body as fat, right? It's like I'm trying to protect myself. A lot of people who actually have, like, if they're overweight, it's one of their defense mechanisms, right? And so it's like just feeling the pain can have such a tremendous, powerful effect to, like, help you to lose weight, you know, which could be one thing. Um, but even if it's not that, like, it's just the feeling, the lightness, the... I don't have to carry this anymore. I don't have to hide this anymore. I don't have to pretend anymore. Um, you know, I can't have anyone actually see how insecure I am or how unfounded I am or how uh, ashamed I am or like what I've done or like what's been done to me or like how unworthy I feel or whatever, like whatever the story is, right? Like we all have our stories and it's time to rewrite them it's time to like create a new story for yourself that's literally what the ground zero is about right i'm reinventing my story i'm rewriting my story i'm erasing everything and i'm starting with the tabula rasa right so if you need help i'm here uh, feel free to reach out let me know your thoughts on this have you gone through shadow work are you afraid um, are you maybe excited to try it you know what's what are your what are your um, experiences with this just um, you know write to me let me know I'm super curious and I um, I love going there it's, I really do think that it's a talent and it's something that we cultivate by force of doing the work and, you know, like I said, the more you do it, the more um, it takes you to places that you couldn't have even conceived of in the beginning. It literally changes your life around. It changes your body. It changes your mind. It changes your energy. You radiate more. You like, oh, there's so many benefits to it. <laughs> um, but like I said, it's, it's for the brave ones. So if you want to be brave... Um, that's what's being asked of you and I wanted to share this with you because I think it's so powerful and such a tremendous opportunity at any point in time not just now but now specifically um, for us to truly embody who we are okay our humanity because the painful experiences are what our human is feeling right 
but also our divinity, right? Our, our soul and what it came here to experience and the way that it wants to expand and express and be in the world and feel in the world and create in the world, exist in the world, right? Like our life goes like that, you guys. You know, do you really want to be 70 years old? And then, you know, you're done with your job and you're done with your, you know, savings and whatever else. And then what's left? The pain that you've been holding on to your whole life. You know, it like, anyway, it's not to guilt trip anyone. It's just like, you know, uh, sometimes you have to put things in perspective. And I think that it requires a little bit of this. You know, like, do I really want to live like that? Like, do I want to be like 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70 and still be like, oh, I'm too afraid to feel. I'm too afraid to own my pain. I'm too afraid to change. Right. Come on. We can do better than that. <laughs> I'm rooting for you guys. I really am. I really think that this is just such a powerful time. And, um, you know, I'm putting myself out there to support, to help, to be there, to facilitate, to hear you and to listen to you and to hold you and hold space for you. And to really like, like my heart goes out to you guys, to all of you, all of you that are doing the work, um, you know, all of you that are scared, all of you that are terrified. Um, I've been through all of those things. I know what it's like. And I'm also speaking from the other side that it's so much fun get through it <laughs> so anyways i'm rooting for you guys thanks so much for tuning in ciao ciao i'll see you soon